dangerous discovery. The mining panel shows you the current state of your mining activities. It shows you how, what and how much you have refined. It also shows you how many collectors you have left. It shows you the state of your cargo hold. It also analyzes the ring that you are mining and shows you the quality of the deposits of the ring in graphical form so you can see if it's worth continuing to mine this particular ring. You can overlay the mining panel over the Elite game so that you have real-time update of your mining state shown directly to you. Using the panel selector, we open up a new mining panel overlay Warning. and drag Traffic it over the Elite detected. Borderless window. We then configure the window into transparent mode and set it so that it's permanently on top. As soon as the prospector is launched and hits the asteroid and the analysis is finished, the panel will update with the statistics found. Asteroid scan complete. The panel top section lists the limpets left, cargo left, prospectors fired, collectors deployed and asteroids cracked statistics. The next section will list all the materials found by the prospectors, refined or collected by you. The columns show in order left to right, the number of items of this material refined, the number of items of this material collected, the number of asteroids prospected with this material type, the percentage ratio of all the asteroids with this material versus the number of asteroids prospected in total, the average percentage of a material found in all prospective asteroids, the minimum and maximum percentage of material found in asteroids, how many asteroids with mother loads had, which had this material, the medium, high and low count. This comes from if the asteroid is described by Elite as high, medium or low source of materials. And finally, if you discovered the material for the first time. As you prospect and collect, the list will grow longer. Make sure that your overlay window is large enough for all to show. Below the list is a cumulative frequency chart. This shows the percentage of a type of material in a single asteroid on the y-axis versus the probability of finding that asteroid. At the moment, with only one prospective asteroid, this chart is very empty. We will show a more fully populated graph later. Using this graph, you can judge if a ring belt is worthy to mine for a particular material type. Later, after more prospecting, you can see the graph is populated with more material types and is showing the percentage of probability of each type of material being found in an asteroid. Looking at the graph, for instance for indite, which is coloured red, you can see the content of asteroids containing this material goes from about 8% to 34%. The probability of finding asteroids is shown vertically, so finding an asteroid with 30% of content is low, 12% or so. Asteroids with less content are more probable. The table contains statistics on what you've mined so far, so you can see, for instance, there's a 37% probability of asteroids containing gallite in this table and that you've refined 6 tonnes of it. Silver refined. You can configure the graph using the drop-down at the top of the screen, which is shown when the panel is not transparent. Click on it and you can turn the graph off. Select between showing 1, 2, 4 or 8 materials or pick a specific material. The greater than zero sign hides any material that you've not refined yet. The asteroid chart button changes how the chart works out probability. With it unchecked for a specific material 
it considers the probability across all asteroids, irrespective of if the asteroid contains the material. When checked, it only calculates on asteroids containing the material. Leave unchecked to see the probability of finding a specific material in any asteroid. Check it to see how good the quality of the asteroid field is for ones containing the material. The final button allows you to output stats to an Excel spreadsheet. Check out our YouTube channel for other videos showing how to configure and use other aspects of this program. So for now I say bye bye and fly safe commanders.